Hey, it's me, LFA, bro. You got a minute? Three videos in one week. This has never happened before. I am getting an overwhelming amount of messages from guys who believe that they are not meeting the status quo. They believe they are not meeting the standard that women have set in this post-feminism social media era. They believe that women are only willing to settle for the top 20% of men. So they believe that because they're in the bottom 80% that they have absolutely no chance. So they say that's why they're going MGTOW. Now, first of all, when I say MGTOW, I mean single by choice. I mean knowing that you want to go your own way and not even worry about relationships. You know, that's what MGTOW is to me. So when you say you, you, you feel like you fail to meet the status quo, so that's why you want to go your own way. When in your heart, what you really want is a relationship, then I suggest you put your chin up, you get your shit together, and you make it happen. If a relationship is what you really want, you need to make it happen. And you can ask any top 20 percenter. Go over to uh, Brett Maverick's YouTube channel. An obvious top 10 percenter. I mean, the dude is a model. He will tell you that the best looking men struggle with women. Why? Well, one reason, because women are, women are the more insecure of the two sexes, by far. So when a woman sees a man that's a perfect 10, she is going to feel like she is not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times the woman is going to be intimidated by a guy like that. And because women are the choosers, women are the more aggressive of the two sexes. Women are the ones that do most of the approaching, that do most of the flirting, that do most of the quote unquote game. Women are the ones that, you know, initiate contact. So if a woman's too intimidated by a man to even talk to him, it's probably not even going to happen. So anybody telling you, you know, this 80-20 rule, that 80% of men are going to be left out because women only want the top 20%, they have no idea what they're talking about. That is the most delusional rule I have ever heard. In fact, the guys that are going to have the most success with women are going to be the guys that are fives, sixes, sevens, I guess you could argue eights, because they're not threatening. They're an easy target for women who are the true PUAs. Women are the pickup artists. They're the ones that are running the game on the men. So when they see men that are fives, sixes, sevens, they see them as easy targets. So it's guys that are right there in the mid range that are going to do the best with women. If that's what you really want, you really want to be in a relationship, you have to understand that and let it happen naturally. You don't need to learn game. You don't need to look smacks. I mean, maybe I'd say take care of yourself, hit the gym, diet, you know, dress somewhat nice, but you know, you don't have to take it too far. You don't need game. You know, you don't, you don't need any of that stuff. All you need to do is put yourself out there. And for you guys that are threes and fours, you can probably look smacks your way up to being a five or a six. I mean, you're not going to have an advantage over a natural five or a six. You're going to have to work a little bit harder and you're probably going to have a lower success rate, but you still have a chance. If you don't believe me, the next girl you meet, do a little investigation work and find out what her exes look like. I can just about guarantee you that her exes are probably uglier than you. Because nine times out of 10, that's what I see when I do some investigation work in my own situation. But guys, this whole uh, inferiority complex that a lot of you guys are developing, you know, you see these pictures of these perfect 10 guys, these Hollywood guys, and you think to yourself, like, is there something wrong with my nose? Is there something wrong with my chin? Is there something wrong with my eyes or my teeth? 
Am I too short? You know, whatever, man. But that's, that's in your own head. You are a mental cell. You're not an end cell. You're a mental cell. You need to get over that. You're developing a complex. And believe it or not, there's a lot of young women out there that have this complex as well. You know, they see all these other girls posting these selfies, so they feel like they have to post them. And their selfie's not good enough, so they have to put a filter on it. And now every single selfie that they post has to have a filter on it. They can't even let anybody see what they really look like. Imagine all that makeup, all that hair dye, and you still need a filter. You still have to cover your face up with digital technology. I mean, imagine being that insecure. You know what I'm saying? So women go through it just as much as men do, if not more, because women are more insecure than men. So if a relationship is what you really want, understand that as a man, you have the upper hand. You're the dominant one. You have the dick in the balls. You have nothing to be afraid of. You don't need to send me a message and have me rate your profile picture. You know what I'm saying? Just for validation. Okay, you're a five or a six. You're average. You're normal. Go hit the gym, diet, train, do some good stuff with yourself, and you can maybe up a couple of notches, and you're at the top of the fucking, you know, you're going to be a seven or an eight. And then you're the cream of the crop. You're still, you're, you're not so intimidating that women are afraid to approach you, but you're, you're at the top of the, you know, the middle of the pack, so to say. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'm not a PUA, that's not what I'm trying to do here. But the fact of the matter is, I get tons of messages from guys that just feel like they aren't living up to, what, to the expectation that women have set for them. But what they don't understand is, this expectation is in their heads. Women have not set an expectation for you. That is, that's complete bullshit. And the guys that are telling you this are guys that don't know what they're talking about. So anyways, guys, I hope this video was somewhat helpful to some of you. Most of you guys are MGTOW and you don't give a fuck anyways. But let's face it. The majority of the viewers out there aren't MGTOW by choice. The majority of you guys do want a relationship. You do want pussy. You do want to live, you know, in order for a man to be fully satisfied, he's got to have that stuff in his life. So I fully understand. And, you know, I hope you guys can get over some of these complexes because it is becoming a very serious issue. And keep in mind, like I said, girls go through it too. It's completely normal. So understanding that the girl that you're interested in is probably going through the same complex that you are that in itself can give you a big advantage. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for tonight. Hope you enjoyed a serious message for once. That's all I have for tonight. LFA signing out. Subscribe to the channel.